Hello, hello, Biohack here with another live arena video. Had some cool upgrades. So first one to talk about, check it out. Look what we got. Bam, uh, Hydra Clash finished yesterday. My clan able was able to finish first, thanks to some very last minute nice pushes by some of our members. So thank you to them for pulling that through. It was like a super tight. Actually, can I still see the results? I don't think I can. Now we're on a new one now, right? Yeah, it was a super tight race. Uh, the difference between like top and bottom was like maybe, well, the top in the fourth place, I think was like 10 billion points or maybe less. Uh, it was it was pretty tight. So yes, what we got was this new protection amulet and it's a pretty, pretty good one. So it's HP main stat. This is not re-rolled at all. It's HP main stat and not chaos dust or chaos award. I mean, um, we got defense and we got a double roll into resistance. So this is way better than the one I was running before, which was this one over here. Let's see if I can, you guys can see it. I mean, the important thing here is the main stat is obviously attack. It's a five star. So yeah, major bummer. It has no resistance on it. It does have a little bit of accuracy, which only is really useful for the evil eye, but I do I like to have accuracy on the Kaja for the evil eye. It's surprisingly impactful. But either way, moral of the story is new amulet. When you look at the stat change over here, you can see I got an extra 3,800 health, uh, an extra 14 defense, 49 resistance. That's the big one. 49 resistance thanks to this 33 plus 16. So that is huge, actually, because if we look at the total Kaja build, she's now over 100,000. I think she was at like 98 or 97 before, something like that. Um, so yeah, over 100,000 health, 4,500 defense, and 423 resistance. This resistance is really nice. The biggest area where this is impactful is for fighting Tormund. Most of the time, people who run Tormund against me typically run Nuker Tormund, which I think is better because I think it's not great to take up a support slot with the Tormund. So if you're building Nuker Tormund, you probably are limited in how much accuracy you can actually build on him and still get the job done. Usually people, for Nuker, like for Tormund, you kind of don't necessarily need a ton of accuracy because if you're thinking about using it against Arbiter teams, for example, you're trying to freeze the Nukers, right? Most uh, of the time, honestly, really only Kaja, I think, is like a speed lead that gives you the cleanse but doesn't like automatically fully protect you from the freeze in the first place. So the the reason it's so good against Ka or for Kaja to have that resistance is because if she as long as she doesn't get frozen, no one on the team is getting frozen because she'll cleanse and put block debuffs up. So having it uh, enough for her to get through the Tormund is good to go. So I might swap her banner over to resistance i'm not sure i want to spend the dust on it yet because i don't know it's just the most important thing for me right now i kind of do like having the, uh, a little bit of defense on there so i'm torn about what to do with this exactly i might put it on resistance if we can ever get her another copy of her and still be able to max the banner lord faction then we can get a ton of resistance if we look at the empowerment bonuses she's plus two right now if I can even just get one more Banner Lord, I can make her plus three, and then one more Banner Lord dupe, and then if we can get another copy of her, we can make her plus four, and that would give us, you know, 30 more resistance, which would be awesome. So anyway, I'm very happy about that. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much all that's going on. Uh, I've got the Dungeon Divers event for Wixwell, which I'm almost finished with. I mean, I finished the first part, but we'll pick up those coins, which is great, and we'll probably try and get those Prism Crystals as well. And that's been helping me make progress on the Marius missions because I've been doing it in Spider, so we're 6 out of 10 on the Mythicals for that. I would like to get that done. We'll see. Uh, depending on how close I am, I might just push and spend a bit of extra energy to try and make it happen so that I can get this top 10 tournament group. I think I am very close. I could I could get this one top 10, I think. We're currently 13, but to get the top 10 would only be like a handful of runs. I should probably do that anyway, just with the gems or something. So yeah. Anyway, that's on the table, but let's go ahead and jump to the fights. I had a really good run earlier today where I won eight out of 10 battles. And yeah, so we shot way up in the leaderboards. We're at 62.78 at the moment, currently ranked 57. Actually, is 57 my current personal best? I feel like I've been ranked 57 before. If we can get two wins, we beat Taurus Waifu and beat 56, which would definitely, I've definitely never been 56 before. Let's see how it goes. 
And yeah. I find, I don't know, maybe it's just anecdotal, but it feels to me like the session that happens. So usually I record on the first session after reset. But I find that like the last session before reset, so then the following day, seems to be a lot easier opponents. <laughs> Maybe it's just RNG, but I don't know. I feel like I fight a lot more like super high rated opponents on this session than on the other one. Okay, so interesting choice. He likes to steal Arbiter, so I'm gonna grab Arbiter right now. He does have Galathir, so we have to be cognizant of that. He has Lazarius, Mezamel, Rhodos, Sifty, Arbiter, Shuzen, Armands, and Galathir are known champions that Bunny Turd has used against me. I... Ooh, he could go for the... He could go for the Kaja ban. Are we getting... We have another champ training event happening. Hold on, I'm going to go check the Discord. When do we get the champ training tournament? I think I want to book my Tormund during that. Okay, so we've got Galathir and Siffy. Um, this is going to be a tough one, to be honest. I have the feeling he's going to ban my Kaja. He probably knows. What's the best play? We'll see what he runs. Oh, maybe I go Xena. Yeah, I have Armand, so he can't just pick Lazar Lazarius and ban Georgian and then beat me with Armand. So if I go Xena here and ban Galathir, it's going to come down to a sh speed race between Shuzen and Arbiter if he bans the Kaja. And if not, the Xena or the... Georgia should be able to take care of everything. So let, let's see what he does. Mm, he went with the Georgia. Okay. So this is a little problematic if the Lazarius is in stone skin. We're going to win the speed race. Um, let's see, we need Armands to go before shoes in. Oh, shoot, I messed that up. Oh, I messed that up hard. Damn it. I needed to turn meter boost with the Siffy. Dang it. Or with the with the um with the Rhonda. Ah, well played. Or not with the Rhonda, but I needed to turn meter boost the Rhonda with the Arbiter. Hmm. I need to fix my Xena build. And next time we get a free regearing event, I'm gonna prioritize Xena like super highly in terms of um well everything and like i think she's gonna become one of my most important nukers i mean not over like georgia or ronda or any of that stuff but um oh actually uh let me make sure i note that the Sorry, something stone skin. I could have actually, I don't know. That's a tricky one. I could have maybe. Is this player not in my spreadsheet? No, I could have maybe ran Nishak instead, but I feel like he would have just banned the Kaja in that case. Um. What's my best play here?
I'm thinking Staltus Ban Siegfried. Uh, he ran Rodos. Siegfried. Wow, somebody who doesn't know my account. That's nice. Siffy, Armons. I guess it is the first time we fought. Uh, Siffy, Armons, Kaimar. It could be a resist Kaimar, which could be problematic, actually, in hindsight. But I don't know. Sometimes people bring in resist Kaimar in this like really awkward way where it's actually slower than the rest of their team, so it gets locked out anyway. Um... I didn't actually check to see if it was a Resist Kaimar. Yeah, it was. Okay. Honestly, I think he should have gone for the sleep instead. Beautiful. Oh, for some reason, I thought that guy was high rated. Thanks. Cool. Uh, let's make note. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. The Resist Kaimar... If you're running a speed team, you can't really run speed team with resist timer. I mean, you can, but it's kind of weird because if he's to get high resist, you have to make him slow. And if he's slow, then your speed boosters go before the Kaimar does. And then, you know, makes him a lot less effective. Uh, okay, so this guy runs... Rotos, Staltus, Taurus as Nukers, Armand's UDK, Makage in Stoneskin, Marichka and Korra in Stoneskin, Warlord in Stoneskin, Crixia, I don't know what it's built in, UDK and then Korra. Damn, we fought a lot of times. He's run a lot of different supports. Okay, so he's going with the UDK. Uh, we're probably going to want... I can't really choose bombs right here. My notes. I think I'm going to have to go with the Georgian. We could go actually. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, yeah. What am I thinking? Oh, he already picked three supports. Oh, we could have bombed. Oh, what am I thinking? Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. I could have bombed. I mean, I'm still going to bomb him. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, can I pull off a Nishak? <sighs> we can use Nishak if we bomb the... Yeah, uh, yeah. I think we go Nishak. I don't want to eat a UDK ban. Or uh, to eat a Georgid ban and have no damage. Okay, he banned the Nishak anyway. That's totally fine. I mean, I shouldn't say it's totally fine. This is still going to be a, a potentially tricky fight. It kind of depends on how his champions are built. If the Armands is in stone skin or not. Okay, the Ar everyone's in stone skin. Okay, that's not the end of the world. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Oh, all resisted. Bummer. Reaction. All right. uh, I don't think there's any reason to play this out. Yeah. Ah, whatever. We'll let we'll take three. My turn. Yeah, it is. 
see how uh, finky this. Um. In that I should have saved the Arbiter revive. I don't think it would have mattered, but oh well. I was a little unfortunate that we didn't get any strips with the with the uh, Arbiter. We definitely wouldn't strip the um, Crixia unless we three percented. But I would have felt bad if I didn't increase attack and we hit. We didn't kill the Crixia because of the... We didn't do enough damage, but we hit reaction anyway, so. But I I messed that fight up by being dumb dumb. I should have... Um, if I had... I was like, oh, he's going to pick Marichka. I can't double bomb. And then it's like, no, he's already locked in three supports. If he picks Marichka, I can just ban his nuker and he won't have a nuker. I mean, to be fair, he could still... Or I could just ban the Marichka. Um, well, actually, that would be tricky. Either way, moral of the story was... He probably couldn't get away with picking Marichka. He probably wouldn't have picked Marichka if I went bombs. Oh, well. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Did I note that the Rhodos is also in Stone Skin? Yes, I did. Um... So this is a this Taurus is built in reaction. He has a Siegfried in Stone Skin. He typically doesn't run go first. I think Ron is the best play. He's never picked Marichka against me, which is interesting. So we could bomb. Oh, okay. He does have Marichka. So I think it's fair to assume that we're going to get a... Siegfried is the last pick. Um, could go Warlord Stalthus or Narses. Yeah, let's do that. The Siegfried's in Stone Skin. I think. I think we ban the Siegfried. I think the Siegfried's the biggest threat. Wow, very interesting choice. Just sheep him. There's a few ways we could play this. Um, oh, that's. Brutal for him. Oh, wow. That's a bummer. Oh, I didn't have Ancora. Oh, shit. For some reason, I thought I had Ancora.
I made a sh maybe should have saved that actually. Okay, sweet. Thank you, Rhonda. Yeah, I was totally... I don't know. For some reason, I was just thinking like, oh, we can just A3 and then get the extra turn and kill everyone. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, shit. There's no... There's no Ancora. Whoops. But it was fine. It didn't matter. It could have been scary if the Taurus got turned, though. Wait, that Taurus was in stone skin, wasn't it? Not reaction. Change that build. Or maybe it's in reaction too, but it's definitely in stone skin now. And so the Sifi was not, the Marichka was, and the Ankora was. Uh, we got Victor Tess. I mean, Fought Victor Tess in Liberina. I know he is a very, very good PvE player. Came up with a like. I think that Victor Tess was the one who came up with the Infinity Comp. That's right. But I don't know how much of a PvP threat he will be. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go Georgian. I was debating whether I want to pick Georgian or Rhonda first, but we I get the feeling that he's wants to run fast, so we probably want Quintus to deal with the Taurus instead of Rhonda because we probably want to Georgia to go first. Um I'm going to go Nishak. I don't know how his champions are built, right? Like, the big question is, like, who's in Stone Skin? Sifi. Marichka. Interesting choice. Um, the big question here is, if we can have enough damage to kill the nukers. Oh, the Sifty cut in. That's brutal. Um, okay, we've got to go here and try and get the unkillable, which we don't. Everyone's in reaction. Um. Well, we popped some people, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Interesting that he didn't revive the... Oh, wait, I forgot. Everyone's locked out. That's why he didn't revive. Oh, this isn't as over as I thought it was. Um... I kind of got to take out the Sippy. It doesn't really matter. Is there any shot we can get the Georgia to go? Or the Nishak to go again? That's brutal. Ah, it keeps resisting. 
the lack of increased attack is it's a killer. Does he have his AoE? Oh, really interesting choice. Really interesting and wrong choice. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I think, honestly, if we had a little bit of better RNG uh, with the Nishak procking Slayer, I think I think we might have procked Slayer on the second hit. But he did four AoEs, and I think only the second one actually proc the slayer i think if we proc slayer on one of the hits in the second go around we might have been in a better position oh i need to make a note of that uh siffy cuts in between kaja and, and warlord or you know i could just get my freaking blessing on my warlord and then we wouldn't have had that problem that was a i haven't been able to get the blessing on warlord lost <laughs> but we're getting super close i think we'll get it within the next two months maybe month um okay so he's got a six star temporal chains crixia and he likes to run fast so, New Grizzly runs are Harima, Staltus, Taurus, Sippy, Crixia, Marichka. That makes it tricky because it means we can't bomb, and it means we can't... Um, hmm. Well... We could maybe bomb, actually. No, we have to ban. <sighs> no, there's a Harima on the team. We can't. We can't bomb. Is he just gonna cleanse? What options do I have here? Shit, I really don't have any. I think, yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, it does go with the Crixia. So I, um, actually, wait a minute. The Georgia should go before the Crixia. I take that back. So the way this play has to go down is. Georgia kills Crixia. Yeah, the Georgia. Okay, I think. I think I could be wrong. Oh, wait, no, it's the Siffy. No, no, no. Okay. Six star Crixia will go before Georgia. Mm, okay, we'll see how this goes. Oh, I think we're definitely. Yeah, we got the. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She turned meter boosts. Ah, oh, yeah. No. Oh, divine life, you suck. Or divine speed, you suck. I, just, I don't think there's anything I can do against that other than take my Kaja out of divine speed. It's so frustrating. <sighs> yeah. It's annoying because I can't bomb it and I can't. Um, I can't. I probably I have to ban the Harima. I'm trying to think if there's any solutions. 
Honestly, my best play might just be... Oh, sorry, what does he run? Tara, Sarima, Wukong, Narcis, UDK, Armand's Galathir, Shuzen, Zippy. So we need to be prepared to... Yeah, I think this is fine. Well, no, it's not really fine. Um... Well, maybe it is. So the play is... is the play I have to ban the Galathir oh okay well thank god he didn't go with um uh with Harima it's still a tough fight. I think I have to be able to... I have to kill the Georgid or the... Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. That saved my ass. If we don't get Polymorph. Unless he... Maybe he resists it. We'll see. I need to, to check whether he's going to resist it. Um, I assume this... Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, we resisted the, um, we resisted the, or not resisted. We locked out the Quintus, so it's not over. That's really annoying that he reset the Quintus, though, because, um, thing about Quintus is he resets his own abilities, so he's going to get all of his abilities back now. Ooh. Oh, he still got the kill. Bummer. Yeah, it's not... I mean, we'll see what happens here. It'd be really nice if we could... Um, land a bomb. Oh, it's a two-turn bomb. Bummer. Okay. Um... We need Kaja to tank. I need the Kaja to tank the Narcis. And Korra's going to revive the Narcis, and that's going to, um... Oh, wow, I didn't get enough turn meter for it? Oh, that sucks, dude. I was hoping the Arbiter would go before the Narcis. Damn. Well, I think if we had a little bit better... I mean, obviously, we, we got resisted on the Quintus, which I landed the second bomb with the um with the nishak so that tells me that the quintus isn't like super high resistance that we could have landed the bombs so we probably got unlucky in terms of landing the bombs on the quintus which causes you know in part cost us the fight also we got really unlucky in the amount of turn meter that kaja had when narcis got revived because if kaja had more turn meter she would have taken she would have got the turn meter boost from the life harvest blessing and then we would have taken a turn which would have given her healing and then she probably could have tanked the narcis because i think the narcis almost only like barely killed her because he hit her for 50 something thousand which is only half her health so she would have healed herself for like 14 or fifteen thousand if she took a turn i think she would have totally survived it the quintus would have died on the a1 Kaja or the um yeah the Kaja would then have revived the whole team 
and we would have had a lockout ready to go again on the Warlord. So I think either we don't get three, or I don't know if it was a 3%, but either we don't get unlucky on the bombs on the Quintus, or we get a little bit better timing on the turn meter of the Encore Revive on the Narcis instead of having it happen like right when Kaja has no turn meter. Um... I think we'd be okay. Uh, he's got a fast or bias. He's got Siegfried and Taurus. So we probably need to run Shazar and Prey. <laughs> he's got Crixia as well. I think this is a Shazar and Prey fight. We ban the Crixia. Oh, okay. So he's not doing that. Um, we'll grab Georgian. I don't know how the Armons is built. I assume he's stone skin, but. Okay. I think we got to go Narcis. Here's the problem. If I don't ban Lazorius and he bans Georgia, I lose. So I really only have one option for a ban. The big question is, can we break enough of the buffs on his team? Okay. Interesting. Um... Taurus is in reaction. Guess we'll just do that. Oh, wow. Actually did pretty good damage there. The problem with this uh, style of team is it's just impossible to get a turn because the Taurus is so slow. I guess we'll do this. Okay. Now we're extra screwed. I didn't even think about that, actually. I should have checked for Polymorph. Oh, he's got it on everyone. Okay, um, maybe there's a world? <laughs> no, probably not. Uh, maybe we get the turn meter pushback. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Yeah, I think that's game. It was an interesting choice of team. I'm a little surprised. But yeah, it's super tough because I have to pick Georgian because of the Lazarius. Um, even though I don't really want to. If I picked first and got Armons, that would make life easier because then he couldn't just ban the Georgian to win the fight. But if it's a stone skin Lazarius, it's like I have to run Georgian. Or I have to ban the Lazarius, basically. I have to. Because if I don't and he bans Georgian, it's an insta GG is just really unfortunate. This would be a lot easier if I could deal with the Taurus. <laughs> um, you know what I could do? Maybe. Well, no, I don't know. I 
and he can't bomb because of Marichka. God, I wish they would take that passive off her. I think if I picked that, if I picked first that fight, it would have been a thousand times easier. But he probably would have run something different if I had Armand's. Then he couldn't just ban it. Uh, okay, Tormin, uh, Warlord, Tormin, Galathir. Uh, it's the best play here. I mean, I think we've pretty much got to ban... I think we have to go Georgid. I think Georgid Wukong is probably the best play. I don't know how this war I don't know how this warlord is built. Actually, and if he bans the if he bans the Kaja. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have revive. Okay. Well, if the Narcissus is in stone skin, I'm kind of screwed. That was an interesting choice. So Armand's is way faster than his team. Even his uh, Warlord is slower than my Georgian. Um, I'm going to sheep the Tormen so that we don't have to deal with this. I just left. Okay. So we don't have to deal with his passive. How are we doing on the leaderboards? Am I lower than when I started? How have we done today? One, two, three, four. Oh man, five, six losses. Yeesh. Now that's what I get for doing so well earlier. Hmm. If we win this one, we'll finish four and six. Could be worse. Could be better. Could be eight and two like we did earlier today. <laughs> I'm a little surprised he left that fight. I don't think it was over. I don't know. I guess maybe it was. The Wukong A2s. I mean, he could fear with the UDK is the thing. If he fears the UDK and the fear procs on the Georgid and the Georgid fails to kill the Narses, I could be in big trouble. I didn't really have much for AoE. I only have the Wukong. And the Georgian A1 is not AoE, but could get one attack through. I'm not 100% sure he lost that fight. Really just depends on if the Wukong could kill him with the A3. Well, not only that, but it depends on how much damage he could do. But he didn't have increased attack, because I couldn't put the increased attack buff up because of the um, Tormund. That Warlord was built way too slow, too. The Warlord was built slower than my Georgid. It's like a sub-300 speed Warlord. I think if you want to... Uh, I think... I don't know. I don't. What? I wonder how people build these Warlords, these slow Warlords. Like, I feel like the only stats you care about on Warlord are stone or um, speed and accuracy. So even if you're going to put him in stone... And, like, you're going to put him in stone skin... He really only needs to use one ability, and then he's kind of like, like sure his other stuff is like nice, but I feel like you should make him as fast as possible in Stone Skin. With I mean, w with a balance of accuracy, but like these super slow warlords, I don't know. Maybe they're just stacking tons of accuracy, but people don't even use resistance anymore.
I shouldn't say that. People do, but it's pretty rare. Um... got a stone skin wukong that causes me a lot of headaches i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna steal it His Lissandra that he hasn't picked yet is super quick. His shoes ends in stone skin, actually. The Armands is in stone skin too. So we want I think we want a tanky nuker. The Rodos is all actually, you know what? No, we need um we need to bomb this. Ah, maybe he shouldn't have picked Wukong. Shit. The nice thing is, though, is all these champions are susceptible to lockout. So I can just throw Shazar, and then if he bans the Shazar, everyone else is getting locked out. And they're squishy, too, so they're not going to hard to kill. Plus, the Shazar will give me the speed. Nice. I was going to go Shazar anyway, so now we're really going for Shazar. It's not the worst idea to ban the Shazer anyway. Nope. Okay. Hopefully we don't weak hit. He does have three magic champions. We get the Rotos. It's annoying. Um, oh, come on. We weak hit again? Jesus. Talk about bad RNG. Watch him proc like three extra turns. Ooh, that was... Well, actually, no. I was going to say that's kind of a mistake, but now in hindsight, that's actually fine because... Um, Wukong can revive himself. The problem is we literally weak hit him again, which is starting to get absurd at this point. Should only have his A2 right here. and Yeah, unless he... Okay, didn't proc the extra turn. Beautiful. Wukong, please don't weak hit. Thank you. All right. There we go. Well, we got four out of six. Could have been better. Could have been worse. We're still ranked 57. We're still right behind Taurus Waifu and Belazarov. Pass Krusen. No, well, a couple more. One good streak and we'll be all right. But that's going to be it for me today. Thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.